<laughs> these tinted windows, I'm not sure if I can get in this car. Yeah, these heavy tents. You can't really like, see much. Like the last we saw that guy was when he got in the car with JD. <laughs> You travel with the blue carpet. It's <laughs> pretty awesome, isn't it? Also a reason to be concerned. All right, I got some questions for you. Okay, that you might. It's 2016. Yeah. Welcome to Facebook. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold. Um, was it hard to close your MySpace account? <laughs> I never actually got to MySpace. Okay. All right, so this week is, for you, it's board meeting week. It Associates is. week, mm -hmm. shareholders meeting, and then this little day job of running a large retail organization. Investor <laughs> meeting. Investor meeting. We're hosting the media. I have a Saturday morning meeting, and then I'll take my customary nap on Saturday <laughs> afternoon. But it's fun. You know, I just have learned over the years that all the work we do every day prepares us for these moments and these conversations. Why not relax and enjoy it? Right. So I, I am excited about this week. You're not uh, cramming for the test. You already know what's on the test. No, we do some preparation, but if you're having to cram for a test, something's probably wrong. <laughs> um, did you watch Beyonce's Lemonade? No. Oh, Jay-Z is in trouble. Um, have you seen the Chewbacca lady? I have. She's great, isn't she? Isn't that fantastic? Yeah, I love it. Can... She should be a Walmart mom if she's not. Ooh. She should be. Can you give the camera an impression of Chewbacca? How's that? That's good. That's good. Not bad for early in the morning. Yeah, no, that's good. What's the most overused word in our corporate culture? One of those phrases that, that always makes me feel like somebody said something without saying anything was, this is how we're going to do it in the marketplace. What does that mean? <laughs> what is one thing you're seeing in associates that gets you really excited about the future? Ownership. Um, I think as I'm in stores and clubs, I'm finding more associates who are taking ownership of their business in the right way. One of the best ways to have a great career at Walmart is to act like an owner, like you founded the business, like it's yours. You'll make better decisions, and I'm seeing more of that, and I'm excited about it. Is that startup mentality, or what is that? Yeah, you, some people call it a founder's mentality. I think it's what Sam had in mind when he started the company. That's, that's what Store Within a Store was about, which at that point in time was groundbreaking. Um, why do you agree to do these things with me? <laughs> because I like it. Oh, thanks, man. It's impressive. You can drive, ask questions. You haven't run a light. I'm not scared yet. All right, huge hypothetical question. Like, don't think too much about the situation because I just kind of made it up off the top of my head. Suppose Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump were running in a presidential election against each other. Well, <laughs> who would you be wearing for shareholders meeting? I don't know what I'm wearing for shareholders meeting. <laughs> Do you like how I couched that question this yes. year? Yes. Oh, I was proud of myself. Well done. What are a couple of things or one thing that we should be thinking about every day as it relates to the customer? The first thing that comes to mind is this, this quote from Sam about the way they feel when they leave determines how soon they'll be back. Sometimes it might even be subconscious. Did I have a good experience? Did I find what I was looking for? Did I get out quickly? Were people friendly? Did they seem like they liked their jobs? Is that a place where I think I want to spend my money? And the same is true of a website or a mobile app. When you're through with that experience, did you love it? And if you did, you'll be back. It's not very complicated. That was my last Duh. card. <laughs> you did good. That's fun.